Hello, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use text inside of our games. Okay, text in Blender Game Engine. And it's very, very simple. What we have to do is just to add a text object. Okay, I'm going to turn on Kmon here. So now we have text, text that we can see inside a game mode. If I push PIM, you can see, you can read text, okay? How can modify this text? We can just go to edit mode, pressing tab, and to change. Physicomalone.com. This is my website, and now if I push P, I can see the text in Blender mode, okay? Uh, more things that we can change. We can change the color of the object here in the property windows, properties, uh, this is the object menu, and we can go to object color and to change the object. So simple like this, okay? this color or this one or whatever you want okay more things that we can change we can go to here to the text options and here you have a lot of options but not all of this works in the game mode so i'm going to show you how to change the font more one of the more most important things in text is the font of course the font is a TTF file that uh, you have in your computer when you change the font in your in your office program or writer or in the, whatever uh, the program you use to write things. You can change the font and all these fonts that you can use in this program are files that are stored in your computer. If you are using Windows, the folder where you can you have all the fonts. Sorry, one second. I have to mount my Windows volume. I'm using Linux right now, but I can access to my Windows folder. Sure. Now, if I open uh, my, if I, if you are using Windows, and you go to Nope, nope. Sorry, it's not yet. Now, if you are using Windows, you have uh, all these files in your Windows and fonts folder. Okay, you can find here all these TTF files. You can choose whatever you want. For example, this one, vol, T, V, B. And here you, you can change the font you are using. I like this one, it's cool. And when I push P, I can see how it's working. Okay, more things the, that I can change. Uh, I have changed the, the color, I can change the font of the text and I can change a few more things but I need to use Python. So I'm going to open a text file, go to text editor, a new one, the name text is uh, nice for now because we are going to use it to change text properties. So I have to write a few things like, like this. Uh, I have to import the this module, the Blender Game Engine module. I have to call the um, the logic, which is uh, like this logic. I have to call the controller. I think is like this, and I have to call the owner. Oh. Ner. I think uh, I have right. I have written everything right. I don't know. We will see. 
Now I need to uh, open a logic editor. Oh, I can do that better. Okay, in the logic editor, I have to add a controller, a Python controller, set the text script, and an always sensor like this. Okay, so I can modify now what I did with these lines is to call O to my object, to my text object. So if I want to change a text property, I have to change a O property. So I can use, for example, I can change the text property like this. If I push P and everything is right, it's not working because I have used something wrong, maybe. I can check console, like think of get current control. Oh, sorry, I forget here. And O, no yet. Console again get current controller i think this is not in capital letter no yet sorry i'm going to check okay yes it, this is capital this is a capital letter but i forget the g1 because uh, current control uh, belongs to the logic module so i have to call the current controller throw the g the logic module I forget to put g dot get current controller. Okay, now if I push p, the text that I have modified uh, entering in uh, edit mode. Hello, I can do that. But if I set the text property throw using Python, Python, it will uh, change the text. Okay, something like this. Hello. If I push P, guys, okay. More things that we can change. We can change the color using Python, okay? Like using the color property. The color property needs four values, four number. One, two, three, and four. Between zero and one. The first one is the, uh, I'm going to set. do this the first value is the red channel the second is the green one and the first value is the blue channel and the fourth is the alpha channel okay red green blue me, me means the amount of this color that we are going to use if i set one 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 it means that i'm going to uh, put everything uh, all the amount uh, of the red color amount that I can, uh, uh, the green and the blue, okay? For example, if I set the green and the blue to zero, the only color that I have is the red one. So if I push P, of course, I have the red color, okay? If I set to one to the green one, to the green channel, my text now will be green. And the same thing with the blue, okay? like this if i want to use uh, another different color i can go to a property and go to here to object and i can pick a different color whatever the color whatever i want for example this i can use this to set a different color for example for example this green okay oh uh, I don't know how it works. Okay. I can choose uh, the color that I want. For example, orange. I'm going to use this orange. And I have these values. Okay. Uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.3, and 0, more or less. 730, 0.7, 0.3, and 0. And I will have this orange color, more or less, okay? You can be more accurate or wherever you want. And that's how the red, green, blue channel works. And alpha, what's alpha mean? Alpha mean the, uh, if the channel is visible. How visible is the text? 
uh, mean, uh, I mean, one is fully visible and zero is fully unvisible, not visible, okay? And if I set uh, 0.5, for example, set a uh, half visible. If I use, I'm going to use the black color, zero, zero, and zero, and you will see what I mean. If I set the red, green, blue to zero, I have the black color. If I set the alpha channel to one, I have full visible, visibility. If I push P, I have here my text completely in black, okay? But if I set to 0.5, for example, I have not black, more gray. If I put uh, 0.2, it's almost uh, invisible. And uh, if I set to zero, I have completely invisible text. Okay, I'm going to use now the one alpha value to see my text. More things that we can change, we can change the size. So I can use O dot size and if I set to one, it's not going to happen anything because uh, this value multiply the size of my text. So one, if I multiply for one, it's not going to do anything. If I multiply for two, I get the double size. I double the size of the text, okay? Three, oops, if I use three, three times, or I can use 0.5 to half to, to half the half of the size of the size of the text. Sorry, Dot, uh, 0.5 is the middle, the the half size of the text. Okay. More things that we can change is to the uh, visibility. I can use as as I have explained to you, you can use the alpha value to change the visibility of the text, but you have the property visible. You can set visible to zero or to one. If you set visible to one, the text is fully visible. And if you set to zero, the text is invisible. Okay? So simple like that, like that. And I'm going to do a very, very, very simple script to uh, show you how uh, the text will change during the game. I'm going to use a timer property like this timer. So I'm going to use a very, very simple program. If all dot timer, timer is like this, no? I think if timer is uh, minus is, uh, I don't know how to say that, how to read this symbol in English, is uh, smaller. If a uh, timer is uh, smaller than one, so text is going to be hello. And The timer is bigger than one. Text is going to be bro, for example. I'm going to change this to set to nothing, black, like this. And we will see what happened. If I push P, nothing happened because I have visible to zero. Now, hello. It's not going, ah, I have to set, uh, if I want my script is running continuously, always, I have to set this. If not, it's, if I don't push this button, the, my script only run once, only one time. So I need to do that. If I push P now, hello, bro. Okay, the, the text is changes after one second. And I, if I do that, Oh, timer is zero. It's going to be like a continuous, no? Uh, I'm going to see. 
why is not working well like this? Because uh, we are going to change the frequency here. Something like that, better. Hello, bro. And it uh, should change. Nope. Okay, really, this is not part of the tutorial, but I want to check what happened. Okay, I don't know, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm not teaching you Python right now. I'm not a Python uh, teacher. But uh, you can change, the, the question is that you can change the text during game using Python, okay? As you can see, you can change easily the text, the color, the size, or the visible, okay? One more thing I want to show you is how to uh, uh, copy and paste text. So, uh, I'm going to go to, I don't know, I need uh, some text to copy. So, here in my website, for example, I'm going to copy some text. For example, this, copy, and I'm going to make a new text file and paste. And now I have a few texts, a few lines here. And I can go here and edit text to 3D object. And I can choose one object or what object per line, whatever you want. I'm going to choose one object. And now what I have is a big amount of text. Well, not really big because I didn't copy too much, but uh, you get the point. Okay, so you can copy this text and this this text. You can change everything that you have seen in this tutorial. Okay, or you can uh, animate and make like a, a Star Wars like intro or whatever you want. Okay, okay, this is all that uh, I want to uh, show you about how to use uh, text text inside Blender game engine, okay? Uh, I hope you can understand my English. I hope you can enjoy the tutorial and thanks for watching.